Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user Mortal Warrior um, in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending this in. And without further ado, let's go ahead and check out their systems. Their system is called the uh, TYDKOV system, Wosan. So let's just go into the workshop here, so where are we? Um, uh, no, no, subscribe, should be at the bottom, shouldn't it? There it is there, so let's see what he's got for us here. Okay. Right. This system is a hypothetical system involving planets orbiting a hyperluminous star. Okay, right, so, where are we? Ted R, whoa. Okay, hang on, where is this? Oh, there, okay, there we go, gotcha. So, down here, hyperluminous star. So the star itself, a star with 2.26 times the radius of the sun, 40 times the mass, and 40,000 degrees surface temperature. So Tidekov is by no means a star you want to be anywhere near, else you end up like the first few planets. Okay, so first up we have got Salby here. So the planet is considered the hot Jupiter of the system. Um, it is larger and more massive than Jupiter, but the mass is so tricking away from the planet due to its relatively close proximity to the star. It's actually as far from the star as Jupiter is from the sun. The planet has no moons, as they'd all been burned up by the massive furnace lurking nearby, which is there. There it is. So, cool. So how luminous uh, exactly are we at? So, it's, oh, 16,000. Oh, 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 okay. So, next up we got Vulcan. One word to describe it, hell. Ooh. The planet is significantly smaller than Mercury and has been losing far too much mass, despite it slightly being further from the star than Uranus is from our sun. Okay. Pretty crazy stuff, this system. Next up, we have got Star Valin. Well, hang on, have we missed one? Oh, where are we? Stepidus, where's that? Uh, labels. Am I missing one? Vulcan, Stephesis. Where's the, where's the world called Stevelin? Ah! A smoky desert world not too distant from the planet Venus or any desert seen on Earth. It has five asteroid moons, including one with an exotic landscape full of chemicals. Okay. So this must be one of these fights that's in orbit of this planet here, Stevelin here. Okay. Oh, uh, he must have got the name wrong, because this looks more like to fit that description, not too distant from the planet Venus. So he's just named this the moon. So this is the moon. He's named it the moon instead of the planet. Okay, gotcha. So there's the moon. And then this description here is covering the planet. So smoky desert world not too distant from planet Venus or any desert sea on Earth. It has five asteroid moons, including one with an exotic landscape. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Nice. So there it is underneath. Okay. Cool. Right, next up we have got... The moons. So we'll look at those quick. Oh, they were just asteroid moons, aren't they? Yeah, the interesting moon was the one we really looked at there. So this object here. What is going on here? It's a very mysterious world, isn't it? Right. Okay. So Cephaline is next up. A gas hypergiant with a radius. A gas hypergiant with a radius larger than that of our own sun. Whoa. What? Right. Hypergiant gas giant. Okay. This planet resides in the gold lock zone of its host star and marks of a large waypoint from its multitude of hatter wounds. Its coloured shading is not to be confused with a hospitable planet. Its gas is temperature around 450 degrees Celsius and wind speeds 10 times that of the speed of sound. The planet is something to be avoided. Many of its moons, however, resemble Earth the most. Excellent. So the first of the moons down here. So a pretty nice greened out object there because he's dangerously close to the parent. I mean, that is an enormous... Gas giant, as we can see, 1.1 radius of sun. And this is, how big is this? 2.2 Earth radius. So, yeah, that is a sun radius. Uh, so that is, whoo. That's a big, big boy. So if we look at the sun for comparison, there you go. Look at that. If you compare it to the largest exoplanet, HD 100, for instance. Um, I can't actually search it, damn it. <laughs> I guess I have to quickly find it. Uh, H should be... There it is. The largest exoplanet is that. So that is a enormous, enormous gas giant. Oh my god. Okay, so moving on to the other moons. 
Asteroid moon. What's this pink one over here? That looks a little more interesting. Okay. We've also got these down here. Okay. And a moon further out. So this is one of the uh, moons that looks like the Earth. It's looking good. It's also got a moon as well. A moon of a moon. There you go. Okay. And it also has a little gas object of itself orbiting as well with its own moons around the a moon with a moon I should say. So all the way down here. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so moving on to the final planet of this system, which is this guy over here, very far away. So Glister, the first planet from the system. The plane orbits as far as half as a quarter of a light year away. It gets little to no sunlight and has a moon orbiting further than Earth does from the sun. So it's a pretty lonely world here. I mean, I don't think we're going to be seeing any... No, it looks like it has a bit of light on it. You can see it's roughly just lit up. So there it is there. And then the moons. These guys here. So there's one. So again, very, very dark. And then the second moon over here. So yeah, pretty far away. 2 AU from its parent planet. Really crazy stuff. So there you go. That does it for this system. The TYD KOV system. Whoa, sun. So there we are. So again, a massive thank you again to Mortal Warrior for sending in this system. So quite a short but sweet system. So yeah, let us know what you think of that down below in the comments. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you did, press that like button. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. As we're just over a 1,000 away now. So yeah, definitely press that button if you haven't already. It means the world. I really, really appreciate it. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, the big 30 mark is getting closer and closer by the day. So yeah, thank you all so much for that. Absolutely amazing stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to this. So yeah, look how big that gas giant was. That is absolutely amazing. But yeah, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, make sure you guys all stay safe up there. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.